Hey guys, you're about to do one of my favorite labs uh, for your eighth grade year. I love doing uh, circuits and really anything I can do to get my hands into science and actually exploring what we're learning about. So you've been learning about electricity and circuits and uh, parallel circuits and series circuits. So we're gonna make a simple series circuit today. Um, and we're going to insert it into a Valentine's Day card or however you want to decorate your card. Uh, but we're going to make a piece of art or a card that actually lights up with one LED light, uh, our copper tape, which uh, is our conductor, and then we're using a watch battery. So one thing you need to know about this watch battery, uh, it's a little different from when you go to plug in a light bulb at home and you screw it in the lamp, plug the lamp in the wall and turn it on. So at your house, you have AC electricity. So that means you have alternating current. So uh, it can flow in either direction. So it really doesn't matter how you power your light bulb with the positive and negative because it can alternate at your house like it can flow either direction um, so our watch battery is dc so it's got a direct current and that's why on your battery go ahead and look right now you're going to see a plus sign on one side and then when you flip it over um, you're not going to see anything but it's assumed uh, that we know that is the negative side of the battery so also pick up your led and you're going to notice you've got uh, two legs on it and one is shorter than the other. So the shorter side is going to be your negative pole and the longer end is going to be your positive pole. So go ahead and try that now just with your LED and your battery. Go ahead and pick those up and take the legs of your LED, so that tiny little piece of metal, and take your battery and you're going to slide it so your LED has a leg on each side of the battery. So we see right here, mine didn't light up at all. So I need to turn it over and try the legs on the other side. And there we go. So when I put that long leg on the positive side and the short leg on the negative side of the battery, my LED will light up. So that's your quick test. If you're having problems, you probably need to turn your battery over and swap the direction of the flow of electricity. So we have um, insulators and we have conductors. So today our insulator will be the uh, your invisible tape right here, so some scotch tape. And then your paper will also be an insulator. And today our conductor will be your copper tape. Now you need to know that the top of the copper tape is the conductor underneath that sticky side is an insulator. It's not going to conduct. So if you put the tape on top of your LED, no electricity will get to your LED light. So your LED light bulb, the leg needs to go on top of your copper tape to make a circuit. So let's go ahead and build one together uh, and we'll move over here and let's start by folding our paper to make a card. So go ahead and follow along with me and we'll do this step together. So all you're gonna need right now is your piece of construction paper. So I'm gonna go ahead and start and we're gonna fold it just like this. Give it a good crease. I use my fingernail. So that's fold number one. Now fold number two, and we fold it twice because that's going to hide our circuit inside of our card. So now your card's gonna open just like this. Our message is written right here. Our artwork is done on the front and then you have a complete card. Uh, so let's go ahead and do the decorating process. Uh, let's go ahead and begin that now. Once you've decorated, go ahead and open up and write a message.
Now that you have your completed decorated card, it's time to add our circuit. So let's go ahead and unfold our page just like this. And let's turn it over so we can see the artwork. So I want to decorate the front of my card. This is the front of my card right here. So I want the LED to go right in the middle of the heart right here. So I'm going to pick up my LED bulb and I'm going to hold it by the legs and I'm going to press the legs through the paper. You'll hear them pop right through. So now I have my two legs of my light bulb sticking through my card. Now I need to fold them in opposite directions. So we go, both legs have been spread in opposite directions now. So remember our long side is positive and our short side is negative. I'm going to label mine just so you can follow along with me. So that means my long leg needs to touch the positive side of my battery. So now let's lay down our conductors. I don't need this whole piece of tape as you can see. It actually falls off the end of my card. So I'm going to take some scissors or tear it with my finger. Just like that. Now that's the correct length for me. Again, this is our negative side. We can see that negative sign that I put right there. I'm going to make sure that I have a little overlap right here. So I have plenty of space for those two pieces to touch. When I'm happy with the position of it, I need to pull the white backing off of my tape and stick it down. We're only going one pole at a time. Remember that I told you only the top of the tape is conductive. So if you laid the tape on top and put the sticky part on your LED light, your circuit will not work because it's not complete. It won't be able to complete the circuit. So make sure your tape goes underneath the leg of the LED. Next, we'll need to connect the positive terminal and our wires will need to touch to complete the circuit. So the trick I use for this is I lay down my wire and then I fold it so the white part sticks up like that. So I'll show you again. When I lay down my copper tape, I create a right angle by folding it over itself like that so we can see the white insulated part right here. All right, here's my final trick. When I go to peel off the white part on the back, I only peel off the white part to the fold and then I just tear the paper off. It's really easy to tear. Now, just like our negative pole, we need to put our copper tape underneath gently put that down all right now we're ready for um, testing so I would take my battery remember the positive side is right here so it needs to touch this conductor I'm going to slide my battery in there so the positive side is up. And I should see my light bulb light up just like that. So we know it's working. So Now's the time to use your scotch tape. 
now's the time to use your transparent tape. So I'll take a small piece, place it over the legs of my LEDs so they don't wander away. And I want my copper tape to go over the bottom section of my battery because the top section I'm going to cover in tape. So my battery doesn't fall out. So here's the final test to see if it works. Let's refold our card. And now my card lights up when I add a little bit of pressure to my circuit. Here's some troubleshooting tips. If your LED does not light up, the first thing you need to check is do you have a complete circuit? So carefully unfold your card. Are the legs of your LED on top of the copper tape? Do both pieces of copper tape touch the battery? Is there somewhere in your circuit where both pieces of copper tape are touching? That will cause a short circuit and your light bulb will not come on. Is the positive side of your battery touching the positive pole of the LED? If your circuit looks correct, try turning your battery over and see if you have the current flowing in the wrong direction.